Regina and Canestian Anson Velasquez is a Filipino singer, actress and record producer. She came to prominence after winning the 1984 Angbagan Campion and the 1989 Asia Pacific Song Contest. Having sold more than 7 million records domestically and a further 1.5 million in Asia, Velasquez is the best-selling music artist of all time in the Philippines. Aside from her commercial accomplishments, Velasquez has received various awards, including two Asian Television Awards, two MTV Asia Awards, 21 Awit Awards, 22 Box Office Entertainment Awards, 15 Ali Awards and 10 Star Awards for Music. Referred to as Asia's Songbird, she is regarded for her vocal range and belting technique, and has been consistently credited with inspiring a generation of Filipino singers. At age three, Velasquez became interested in music from listening to songs her father sang to lull her to sleep. She recalled that she would listen to her mother play the guitar and piano while her father sang, and referenced Mr. DJ by Sharon Carnetta as one of the first songs she learned. Velasquez started singing at age six. She began intensive vocal training with her father, who submerged her neck deep in sea water and had her sing vocal runs. She credits her father's unorthodox method in strengthening her core and stomach muscles, and developing her lung endurance. She placed third in her first singing competition on Betty Mendez Liviacos, the Tita Betty's children's show. When Velasquez was nine, her family moved to Balactus, Yulikan, where she attended St. Lawrence Academy and competed for her school at the annual Yulikan Private Schools Association competition. At 14, Velasquez auditioned for the reality television series Ang Bagam Campion in 1984. She qualified and became the show's senior division winner defending her spot for eight consecutive weeks. Velasquez won the season and signed record deal with Octo Arts International.
Velasquez initially took the stage name Chona and recorded the single Love Me Again, which was released in early 1986. However, the single was commercially unsuccessful. At the behest of another Octo Arts recording artist, Pops Fernandez, she was invited to appear on her late night television show, The Penthouse Live E while she was rehearsing for the show. Producer and talent manager Ronnie Henners showed interest and signed her. At the suggestion of Fernandez's husband and the show's co-host, Martin Nibera, Velasquez adopted the stage name Regine. In 1987, Viva Records head Vicente Del Rosario signed Velasquez and released her debut album, Regime. Del Rosario and Henners both served as executive producers and enlisted songwriters were King Francisco Sanchez and Vanessa Turner. Three singles were released throughout 1987 and 1988, Come May Babalik Kolang Yuring, Sulong and I Sang Lahi. During this period, she made appearances on ABS CBN television variety shows Triple Treat and Team Pan Alley. Velasquez made her cinematic debut in January 1988, beginning with a brief appearance in The Untouchable Family, an action comedy film. Its soundtrack contained her single Urin Sulong. She continued to appear in a series of supporting roles in comedies that included Pick Pack Boom, 1988, and Elvis and Jones 2, 19 Two years after the release of her debut album, Velasquez represented the Philippines in the 1989 Asia-Pacific Singing Contest in Hong Kong. She went on to win the contest, performing the songs You Never Walk Alone from the musical Carousel, and An I Am Telling You I'm Not Going, from the musical Dream Girls.
各位觀眾，最後五強嘅高手咧，我哋先後咧就已經聽過三位嘅演出啦。跟住嚟咧就到第四位嘅參賽者，佢就係嚟自馬尼拉嘅。今年咧十九歲，佢好細個咧就已經接受呢個歌唱嘅訓練嘅啦。曾經咧演出過多個大型嘅電視咧同埋舞台嘅製作，仲唱過咧電影嘅主題曲添。係啊，跟住落嚟佢嘅參賽歌曲係《You Never Walk Alone》。
謝林建岳先生同我哋頒獎。唔該曬林建岳先生。喺呢個時候咧，我哋就要請我哋新鮮出爐嘅亞太歌後為我哋唱出佢嘅參賽歌曲。再一次聽到嘅咧就係 And I'm telling you, I'm not going. In 1990, Velasquez released her second studio album, 1990. She worked with Larry Ocampo for the album's lead single, Nuevo Echo, which was originally recorded and performed by Mauricio Espermont and written by Nani Fidero for the 1978 Metro Manila Popular Music Festival. That year, Velasquez headlined her first major concert in support of the album at the Folk Arts Theater. She recorded a duet with Jose Mary Chan, Please be careful with my heart, for his sixth studio album Constant Change, and contributed backing vocals for Gary Valenciano's Each Passing Night, the single from his sixth studio album, Faces of Love. In 1991, Velasquez made her North American concert debut at the Carnegie Hall in New York City, a first for an Asian solo artist. Soon after, British theatrical producer Cameron McIntosh invited Velasquez to audition for the West End production of the musical Miss Saigon. She received a letter from the production offering to train her in London, but she declined citing inadequate musical theatre experience as one of the reasons.
Carlos Quez's third studio album Tagala Talaga, was released in October 1991, and included cover versions of recordings by national artist for music recipients Ryan Kayabayab, Lucio San Pedro and Levi Silerio. The album's lead single Buhe and Buhe Co, originally recorded by Lee Navarro, was also written by Pedro, who Velasquez previously worked with on 1990. Two more singles were released during 1991 and 1992, and it, and Sayubo and Duran. In July 1993, Holy Grand Far East announced its joint venture licensing deal in the Philippines with the formation of its subsidiary, Holy Cosmic Records. Velasquez recorded a duet with Canadian singer Paul Anka, It's Hard to Say Goodbye, which became the newly formed label's maiden release. The single was later included in her fourth studio album Reason Enough. David Gonzalez of All Music described the album as more attuned to international ears, and felt Velasquez's vocals were thin and unimpressive. One of its singles, Santa Mollet Muley, won the Award Award for Best Performance by a Female Recording Artist in 1994. You got In 1994, Velasquez released her fifth studio album, Listen Without Prejudice. She worked with songwriters including Glenn Medeiros, Trina Balamite and John Lorden. The album was released in several countries in Southeast and East Asia including, China, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Taiwan and Thailand. The album's lead single, In Love With You, featured Cantonese singer-songwriter Jackie Chung. All Music's David Gonzalez called the record adventurous, but felt Tune's presence on the duet had much to do with the overseas success. The album had sold more than 700,000 copies regionally, including 100,000 in the Philippines, making it the best-selling album of her career to date. Velasquez's sixth studio album, My Love Emotion, was released in 1995. She enlisted Japanese songwriters, Maria Takuchi, Kazufumi Miyazawa and Maria Takuchi during its recording. The title track, written by Southern Sun's vocalist Phil Buckle, was heralded a triumph by all music editor David Gonzalez, describing it as an outstanding vehicle, containing a strong melody and hook in the chorus. The album made a combined regional and domestic sales of 250,000 copies.
that was Regine and Jackie Chung in love with you. In 1995, Velasquez began working with composer Ryan K. Abayab for the musical theater production of Jose Rizal's Noli Mi Tangier, where she played the female lead, Maria Clara. Del Rosario, who also headed Viva Entertainment's film production arm, saw Velasquez in one of her performances and offered her a starring role in a film. Following this, she was given her first leading role, playing a music teacher in the romantic comedy, Wanted, Perfect Mother, 1996. Neva and Ocampo co-wrote the single You Are My Song, for the film's soundtrack. <laughs>
Velasquez parted from Polycosmic and signed a six-album contract under the NJF company. That year, her ninth studio album, Dawn, was released. Australian musician and head of NJF company Mark Feist served as executive producer with songwriting and musical arrangement credits for a majority of the tracks including the lead single, How Could You Leave? Dawn sold more than 40,000 copies and earned a platinum certification within two weeks of its release. Velasquez continued to play leading roles in romantic comedies, appearing in Honey Nasa Languid Nagara Echo, 1998, with Jano Giggs, and Dahil May I Sang Michael with Abel Mulach. Her first television role came in 2000 in an episode of the IBC 13's weekly drama series Having Made You Hay, playing Paolo Pasciol's cancer-stricken love interest. <laughs> R2K, produced mainly by Velasquez, was released on November 27, 1999. For the album, she recorded covers that include Jeffrey Osborne's On the Wings of Love, Dying Will With Us I'll Never Love This Way Again, Aerosmith's I Don't Want To Miss A Thing and Abba's Dancing Queen, which were released as singles throughout 1999 and 2000. All music editor, David Gonzalez criticized the record's infatuation with Western popular music, while calling Velasquez's singing self-assured albeit rather unimpressive, commercially. 2,000 Rand sold more than 40,000 copies in its second week of release and earned a platinum certification. A year after its release, the album was certified four times platinum. R2K has since been certified 12 times platinum becoming the highest selling album by a female artist in the Philippines. On December 31, 1999, Velasquez was a featured musical act in 2000 Today, an internationally broadcast BBC Millennium Television special, which attracted a worldwide audience of more than 800 million viewers with its core broadcast beginning with the Kiribati, Line Islands and culminating in American Samoa. Oh, 
supported the album, Velasquez headlined and directed the R2K concert at the Eremita Coliseum in April 2000, which won Best Female Major Concert Act at the 13th Alley Awards. Ricky Lowe from the Philippine Star described the production as electrifying and complimented Velasquez's boundless energy and creativity. A key point in Velasquez's film career came when Joyce Bernal cast her as the lead in the romantic comedy Kalangan Kuraikor, 2000, opposite Robin Padilla. Film critic Noel Vera described the film's formula as nothing really new, it's the nth variation of Roman Holiday, although he complimented the singer for bringing her own public persona, charisma and sense of humor to the role. What they feel is so strong. What they long for, so bright. Jeffrey Osborne and Mr. Steve Alvarez. She got it right. Yeah.
She also performed a concert at the Western Philippine Plaza that year and spawned the release of her first live album, Regine Lave, Songbird Sings the Classics, in December 2000. Despite being criticized for the technical mixing, the album was certified six times platinum. In 2001, Velasquez worked with Filipino songwriters for material on her 11th studio album, Rain. The album and its lead single to reach you were released in December 2001. All Music's David Gonzalez heralded the album as an adventurous set and praised the songwriting's high quality. Two other singles, Tats Forstino's Dadalhin and Jano Gibsar Akin Pagayasa, were released from the album. Her next film role was in the romantic comedy Pandako Eiffel Lang, 2001. The film reunited her with Bernal and Mielach. Vera was impressed with the film's direction and writing, and described her performance as sunny good nature, played with a light karmic touch. Pangako Eiko Lang became the highest grossing Filipino film of 2001. Due to the film's commercial performance, Velasquez was the recipient of the Box Office Queen title at the 32nd Box Office Entertainment Awards. Her next television appearance was in an episode of ABS-CBN's weekly drama series, Marla Alamokea, 2001, playing a woman with autism. The role won her the Best Actress Award at the 16th Star Awards for Television. CBN 2. <laughs> Jacqueline Jose, Marla Alamokea, Chicken Feet. ABS CBN 2. I love that juice. But when I don't get it, I don't get it. 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 I don't Vilma Santos, GMA Telecine, Bugso, GMA 7. Regine Velasquez, maalaala mo kaya, Lobo, ABS-CB2. And the star for best single performance by an actress goes to <laughs> Regine Velasquez. Lobo, maalala mo kaya ABS-CBN 2. Hindi ako masyadong sure kung makatoto ka ng bato. Pero, um, parang ano, this is my first time to receive a nomination as an actress. <laughs> At parang mapabilang kasama ni Vilma Santos, ni Sharon, Coneta, Jacqueline Jose. At sino pa ba yun? 
at si Glidal Mercado. Parang parang magaraho yung feeling mo. <laughs> but uh, I never considered myself as an actress. I never really did. But thank you so much to PMPC for this encouragement. Uh, I will try my very best na <laughs> parang nawiwirdo na ako. Um, I will try harder po para po ma-proud ang PMPC sa akin. Nagpapasalamat po, po ako kay Malu Sevilla sa nag-direct po nung episode ng Maala-ala mo kayo. Nagpapasalamat din ako sa ABS-CBN for giving me this chance. Thank you very much. I want to especially thank um, my best friend Grace uh, for uh, walking me through dun po sa buhay ni Abby. And I also want to say thank you to Patty who suggested for me to play this role. So, sa pamilya ko po, sa mga kapatid ko at mga kaibigan, at yun pong mga taong nandun, <laughs> maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat.
In 2002, she starred in Ikel Lam and Hang Ang Ngay and with Richard Gomez. Filmed entirely in Manila City, her performance of a disenchanted postal clerk earned a Young Critics Circle nomination for Best Actress. In February 2002, Here's the nominees for favorite artist Philippines. And this is the artist from the Philippines. 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 จับอะไรเป็นเงินเป็นทองไปหมดแล้วก็เธอแสดงหนังด้วยนะคะล่าสุดคือ Wanted Perfect Mother แล้วก็โดเรมีโนมินีสคนต่อมาคือเลียสลองกาค่ะแล้วก็วงฟรีสไตล์นะคะซึ่งถือว่าเป็นวงที่โด่งดังมากเลยนะคะของฟิลิปปินส์จะสังเกตนะคะว่าผู้เข้าชิงของฟิลิปปินส์เป็นสาขาพบประหลาดทั้งหมดเลย Martin Navera มาตินเยเวรานี่ก็อีกคนหนึ่งนะคะที่มีพลังเสียงยอดเยี่ยมแล้วก็สร้างชื่อเสียงไปทั่วเอเชียทีเดียวค่ะแต่คนนี้ค่ะเจ๋งเด็ดสุดยอดจะหล่อเลยนะคะเกิดปี1964เคยเข้าชิงรางวัลของ MTV Europe Music Awards ด้วยค่ะร้องเพลงตั้งแต่อยู่มัธยมแล้วก็เป็นทูตให้กับองค์การยูนิเซฟตั้งแต่ปี1991ออกอัลบั้มมาแล้วกว่า15ชุดค่ะเดี๋ยวเขาจะเป็นพรีเซนเตอร์รางวัลตอนนี้ด้วยนะคะคืนนี้ด้วย Regine Vesloquet! Alright! And Regine got the award for Som Kham Khaad Mai. นี่เธอสามารถสร้างชื่อในฐานะ international artist ได้เลยนะคะแต่ข้อจำกัดของศิลปินเอเชียมีอยู่อย่างเดียวเท่านั้นค่ะคือแรงโปรโมทที่จะโปรโมทตัวเองให้ดังไปถึงขนาดเรียกว่า international acclaim นี่ค่อนข้างจะยากหน่อยซึ่งผิดกับโคโคลีที่ต้นสังกัดคือ Sony Music ดันมาก to MTV for this award thank you so much I'd also like to say thank you to everybody who voted for me thank you so very much to my staff Sister Decca and Faggy, you guys have been working really, really hard. Thank you so much. And thank you to Jenny and Christina uh, and everybody from MTV Philippines. And to my mother and my father that are back home watching. Uwi na kabuka. Thank you so much. Marami salamat po. American singer Brian Midnight, who co-headlined a concert with Velasquez, has complimented her singing, stating, "I got to sing on stage with Regine, and it was one of the best experiences ever because she's one of the best singers I've ever heard."
Velasquez hosted the first season of Star for a Night, a format based on the British talent show of the same name. In April, she headlined a benefit concert, One Night with Regine, at the National Museum of the Philippines, a collaboration with ABS-CBN Foundation to benefit Bante Bata Foundation's Child Abuse Response Fund. Later that year, the show won Best Musical Program at the 7th Asian Television Awards.
French musical composer and arranger, Michel Legrand, described working with Velasquez, saying it's tough to sing a song after Barbara Streisand, I will tell you, but to sing with Reginas, only heaven, she sings so well, she has such an extraordinary technical voice, sensitive voice and talented expression. Thank 
you to uh, everybody who's here. Enjoy the night, you guys. Thank you. Ready for 
call me love this time I'll come I simply gotta march my heart to drum Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my forehead Gonna live and let now get what I want I know how One more pop or shock bag One more rap bell will go clang I on the target and wham One shot, one, one shot and bam Hey Mr. In February 2004, Velasquez released a compilation album with O.G. Alcazid, titled The Songbird and the Songwriter. Later that month, the duo performed a concert at the Aeronita Coliseum to promote the album, and embarked on the Songbird and the Songwriter tour in North America that April. At the 17th Alley Awards, she won Best Female Performance in a Concert and was nominated for Entertainer of the Year. Velasquez hosted the reality talent show, Pinoy Pop Superstar, which began airing on GMA Network that July. October, she released Forevermore, the lead single from her 12th studio album covers, Volume 1. It contained tracks originally recorded by Filipino male artists and was her most expensive cover album to produce, due in part to the cost of securing licensing rights for songs by local songwriters. These include among others, Ariel Rivera's Minson Lankita Ayabigan, Basil Holders as Say That You Love Me and Nono Zuniga's Errol Gabby. The album has since been certified six times platinum. Velasquez did not make any film appearances in 2004, but made her prime time television debut in the drama series Forever In My Heart. In the series, she reunited with Gomez and worked alongside Ariel Rivera and Don Zulita.
album covers, Volume 2 is released in February 2006, unlike its predecessor, the record contained foreign tracks, including Alanis Morissette's Head of the Feet, Blondie's Blame Me and Elvis Presley's Blue Slade Cheese, Manila Burton's Jojo Penelope was generally impressed with Velasquez's versatility on the album tracks Jazzy and Lucy Interpretation.
That year, she also performed a concert, 20, at the Aeronita Coliseum which won Best Female Major Concert Act and was named Entertainer of the Year at the 20th Alley Awards. Romantic dramas reuniting with Padilla until I met you, 2006, and with Pashul and Pano Kitarai Ibogin, 2007. For the latter film, Velasquez received Famous and Fab Awards nominations for Best Actress. In 2007, she became co-host of the reality show Celebrity Duets with Al Kazid, an interactive music competition based on the original US show. In 2008, she returned to television playing the titular character in the comedy series Akko Si Kim Sam Soon, an adaption of the South Korean television show. Velasquez also voiced the eponymous character in the animated film Aduja, 2008. Velasquez developed other television projects in 2008. She appeared in Songbird, 
a weekly late night musical television show which featured performances by a musical guest, and was featured in a musical television special, The Best of Me, filmed at her residence in Yola Hills Estate, Resin City. Velasquez signed a deal with Universal Records, and released Low Key in December 2008. The album, as with covers, Volume 2, contains cover versions of international songs which she described as more relaxed, laid back and restrained. It included tracks such as Billy Joel's She's Always a Woman, Dan Fogelberg's leader of the band and Janice Ian's at 17. The Philippine Daily Inquirer praised the album's maturity and wrote that Velasquez no longer shrieks and shouts as much as she used to. Commercially, the album sold more than 25,000 copies within two months of its release, and was certified platinum. In May 2009, she appeared in a television special, Roots to Riches, a biographical documentary and musical that chronicled her personal and professional struggles, and included musical performances filmed in her hometown of Malolos, Yolikan. Later that month, she hosted the reality talent show You The Next Big Star. In 2009, she made cameo appearances in Kimi Dora, OMG, Oh, My Girl, and Yo Yo and Angelina, The Spoiled Brat Movie. Teacher, kumusta po si Dora as a student? Well, she's okay to think she's uh, supposedly slow. She's fast. Actually, she's really fast. She's very good. Very good student. She listens. Dora? The sister, the twin sister of... Oh, I don't know Kimi. I did not teach her. And I don't care about her. That's it. In March 2010, Velasquez appeared in the musical television series, Diva, playing a facially disfigured ghost singer aspiring to pursue a music career. At halos di mapangkali Sa damdami na Pinakamimiti Narito ako Na lagi na nakatingin Sa mga ulat At pito Maawi Nang mga kung di mang kay tangis Napakataas lumilipad itong isip Kalayaan ka Aking ina
Fantasy was released in December 2010 as a double CD set, the first, a disc of OPM recordings, while the second included covers of international singles such as Madonna's Papa Don't Preach, Toronto's What About Love, and The Eagle's Love Will Keep Us Alive. The Philippine Daily Inquirer called the album vocally sumptuous and was generally impressed with Velasquez's vocals and range. Fantasy received a platinum certification and earned three nominations at the Third Star Awards for Music. My bride, I stand before you in awe of your beauty and in total amazement that this dream has come true. I thank you for choosing me to be with you for my heart is overwhelmed and overjoyed. You have been kind, patient, and ever willing to fill me with your unconditional love. I will be your best friend, your teammate, your sparring mate, your kachismisan, your most avid Reginian, your Brad Pitt, your Tom Cruise, and Justin Bieber rolled into one. <laughs> to me, my love, you are a song. So beautiful in its melody. Warm and loving in its words. And my heart would love to sing you for all eternity. Our lifetime together begins today and I will cherish every single moment that I spend with you here on earth and until we finally join our Father in heaven. I love you and I always will. Mahal. Araw na ito ay magiging isa sa pinaka-importanting araw sa buhay natin. Tinanong tayo ni Pastor kung bakit tayo magpapakasal. <laughs> Mas madali raw kasi ang maging single. Pero hindi. Nung dumating ka sa buhay ko, pagod na ako at malungkot na ako. Sinagot naman niya agad ang dasal ko. Agad-agad! At ngayon, ngayon na nga ang umpisa, yun na nga ang pag-uumpisa ng pagpapakyut mo sa akin. <laughs> At in fairness sa'yo, cute na cute naman ako sa'yo. Simula nga noon, hindi ko na maalala kung paano nagsimulang ikaw lang ang iniisip ko. Pangangailangan mo lang ang iniisip ko. And to quote the apple, Hindi ko malimutan kung kailan nagsimula Matutong ikaw lang ang mahalin At di ko malimutan kung kailan Ko natitman ang tamis ng iyong halik Yakap na napakahitin Pag-ibig mong tunay hanggang lang End quote. <laughs> Ganyan yata talaga pag nagmamahal ka ng totoo. Naging mahirap ang simula natin. May mga pagkakataon na sumuko ako. Patawad, mahal. Hindi ko naman kasi alam na ito pala ang sukli sa lahat ng paghihirap na yun. Mabuti na lang at hindi ka sumuko. Maraming salamat. Simula sa araw na ito, ikaw na ang makakasama ko sa buong buhay ko. Alam kong magiging masaya at puno ng tawanan at pagmamahal ang magiging buhay ko kasama mo. Ganun pa man, may mga pagkakataon na makakalimutan ko ang aking mga pangako. May mga sandaling Hindi magiging mahaba ang aking pasensya. May mga panahong hindi kita maiintindihan. May mga araw nga 
hindi kita maaalagaan. May mga pangangailangan kang hindi ko maibibigay. May mga oras na magiging masungit ako nang wala lang. <laughs> Walang kadahilanan. Pasensya na. Hormones. Tsaka 40 na. Malapit ng magmenopause. Pasensya na, mahal. <laughs> Ngunit sa lahat ng mga kakulangan kong ito, hindi na nga ang ahulugang nabawasan ang pag-ibig ko at pagmamahal ko sa'yo. Sabi ko nga kay Lord, kung hindi lang rin ikaw, ayoko na magmahal kasi ayoko na ng iba. Ikaw lang ang gusto ko. Mahal, sa lahat ng pinagdaanan natin, ngayon, naiintindihan ko na kung bakit kailangan mag-imbita tayo ng pagkarairaing tao. Pakainin, bigyan ng entertainment at bigyan ng regalo. Para sa oras na pareho nating makalimutan ang ipinangako natin sa isa't isa, ito ring mga taong ito ang magpapaalala sa atin para sa araw na ito. I love you. <laughs> I have never been so happy in all my life. Thank you. Mas maganda yun sa'yo. Hindi ba pwede mag-kiss ay ni Pwede? Hindi ba? The following year, she teamed with Ding Dong Dantes in the television series I Heart You, Par Rare, 2011. She later dropped out of the show for health reasons and was replaced by Isaac Calzado. After receiving the Magna Award at the Mix Music Awards 2011, Velasquez took a hiatus from public engagements following the confirmation of her pregnancy. Of all the things, 2012, saw Velasquez work with Bernal and Mulach for the third time. Feel but die, of click the city called the film a tedious, unfocused mess that forces chemistry where none really exists. Despite the film's critical failure, Velasquez's performance won the 10th Golden Screen Award for Best Actress. On October 6, 2012, Velasquez returned to television with Serap Diva, a weekly lifestyle talk show. On November 16, 2012, she performed a concert, titled Silver, at the Mall of Asia Arena, which was cut short after Velasquez lost her voice from a viral infection.
Following Silva's cancellation, Velasquez wastaged the concert on January 5, 2013. The concert received generally favorable reviews. Manila Virgin's Jojo Pinal even created a redemption of reputation. While Dolly and Pavahal of the Philippine Daily Inquirer mentioned that Velasquez did not fail to make up for the initial cancellation of the show. Shine that light, my heart with I'm sure that you're an angel in the skies. Come take my hand and together we will ride. All the wings of love open up on the path, the only way to fly is on the wings of love. begin to melt Just like a snow when a great sun is fair I'm crazy about you baby Can't you see I'd be so delighted if The following month, she co-headlined in foursome alongside Alcazid, Fernandez, and Nibra. For both of these shows, Velasquez received four nominations at the Fifth Star Awards for Music, winning Best Female Major Concert Act for Silva, and Concert of the Year for Foursome. In November, Heal of Karen Langit was released, and received a platinum certification with two-week sales of 15,000 copies.
Velasquez won Best Inspirational Record for Nathaniel Gift of God, and Best Christmas Recording for Helmi Ime at the 27th Awit Awards, while Hulog Karim Langit won Album Cover of the Year at the 6th Star Awards for Music. In 2014, she also worked with Nibra for a one-night show, Voices of Love, with Glock Nyon to Kipsilin and with Vice Gander on Push No In February 2015, Velasquez appeared alongside Nibra, Valenciano and Lani Masalicha for a concert, titled Ultimate, at the Mula Beja Arena. She received accolades at the 47th Box Office Entertainment Awards, 7th Star Awards for Music and 5th Deluxical Awards for the production. In the same year, Velasquez served as a judge on the 6th season of the reality talent show, Starstruck. In November 2015, Velasquez headlined a four-day concert residency that featured a repertoire of songs from musicals, called Regine at the Theatre. She next starred in the independent film Mrs. Recto, 2015, a comedy drama set principally on Recto Avenue. For the third straight year, Velasquez appeared in a co-headlining concert at the Mall of Asia Arena in February 2016. The two-night show, Royals, reunited her with Neva and featured Angeline Quinto and Eric Santos. Due to the concert's positive critical reception, Velasquez won Best Female Concert Performer at the 48th Box Office Entertainment Awards and Most Influential Concert Performer of the Year at the 6th Deduxical Awards. In May, she embarked on the timeless U.S. tour visiting the cities of Chicago, Inglewood, Pasadena and San Diego. She then portrayed a socialite stripped of her wealth in the television comedy series Poor Senorita 2016. In December 2016, People Asia magazine included Velasquez on their annual People of the Year list.
Musk has hosted the late night sketch comedy and variety show, Full House Tonight, which ran from February to May 2017. Her only acting appearance in 2017 was a supporting role in the sequel to the 2004 television series Mulloin, titled Mulloin vs. Ravina. The following month, she announced her return to Viva Records and that she had begun production of her studio album, R3.0. In August 2017, a cover of Updharma Down's 2010 song, Tad Henna, was released as a promotional single, an original track. Hugot, was released as the album's lead single the following month. In November, she headlined the R3.0 concert at the Mall of Asia Arena and played a four-date US concert series with Al Kazid, titled Mr. and Mrs. A, two months later. In 2018 meters, she hosted the reality talent show The Clash, served as a judge on ABS CBN's revival of the Idol franchise series Idol Philippines and hosted the musical variety show ASAP Nat in Top. In November 2018, Velasco staged a three-day concert residency at the Newport Performing Arts Theatre titled Regine at the Movies. In October 2019, Velasquez co-headlined a concert with Sharon Kimita titled Iconic. For the show, she won Best Collaboration in a Concert and was named Entertainer of the Year at the 32nd Alley Awards, having previously won the top honor in 2007 and 2009. The following month, Velasquez released a collaborative single with Maura de la Torre, called Unbreakable, for the soundtrack of the film of the same name. She was confirmed as the 2019 face of Australian beauty brand prize and released the promotional single I Own Beautiful for the brand's Be Your Own Expert campaign. Velasquez played a widowed woman smitten by a pop star, played by Ray Carrion, in Nigel Santa's independent film Yours Truly, Surely. The film premiered at the 2019 Cinema One Originals Film Festival. In January 2020, she appeared briefly in the I Went Web television series and the Jody Santa Maria comedy, My Single Lady. In 2020, Velasquez curated a televised virtual benefit concert titled One Night with Regine, a collaboration with ABS-CBN to benefit Bante Bata Foundation's COVID-19 Response Fund. As a child, Velasquez enjoyed listening to classic songs. She would wait for her father's return from work and ask him to sing her the old songs he knew until she fell asleep. She was drawn to traditional songs instead of nursery rhymes because of this routine. 
Velasquez has said that from childhood she has considered Sharon Cunita a role model and credits the singer as a key inspiration to pursue a musical career. Velasquez's music is influenced by artists such as Sheila Easton, Angela Bofill, Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey in her early years. She admires Houston for her style and R&B influence, and was impressed with Carey's songwriting. On several occasions, Velasquez has cited Barbara Streisand as her main influence and musical inspiration, explaining, I look up to her not just because of her enormous talent, but because of her fearlessness and dedication to excellence. Her willingness to take risks and to be different, Streisand's music has been heavily featured in Velasquez's repertoire throughout her career, including a series of concerts paying homage to the singer which she described as a pleasure to perform. Velasquez has also been influenced by many Filipino artists. Early in her career, she has cited Kali Desma, Joey Albert, Gary Valenciano, Martin Niebuhr and Pops Fernandez as her role models. She has also paid tribute to Filipino songwriters like George Canseco, Ray Valera, Baza Valdez, Ryan K. Abia and Willie Cruz. Velasquez's music contained elements of traditional OP and love songs early in her career. She described how she developed her musical style, saying I was only 16 and people didn't know what to do with me. When they want me to sing love songs, they had to explain to me what it meant because I didn't know the feeling yet. Her debut album, Regime, incorporated ballads and bubblegum pop love songs. The themes of the album revolve around feelings of excitement and uncertainty as well as missed chances and regrets. Elvin Luciano of CNN Philippines wrote, During her phase, she proved that Filipino love songs don't have to come pre-packaged in the Kundim and Witted Love Ballad. Her later releases, including 1990 and Tagala Talaga, capitalized on her popularity and themes dominated by Filipino love songs. Velasquez began working with foreign songwriters with her first regional album Listen Without Prejudice. All music described the record as oriented towards easy listening love songs with adventurous, contemporary touches. The album features tracks with syncopated backbeats and hip-hop influences. During the mid-1990s to early 2000s, Velasquez's albums consisted primarily of cover versions of international material because of its commercial viability, and Filipinos' preference for American music. According to CNN Philippines, Regine has a knack for choosing songs which at first, may not fit her, but eventually become her own. Many of her songs, particularly in retro, drawing, and R2K contain R&B, soul, and hip-hop elements. Velasquez's 11th studio album Rion is an OPM album that she described as songs influenced by the music, artists, and genres that I enjoy listening to, and included tracks that are melancholic, sensual, and poetic. Her crossover to film saw significant use of contemporary love ballads in her catalogue of soundtrack themes, describing the music as straightforward, earnest, and lyrically simple. Velasquez is known for her use of vocal belting. She was ranked first in the 2011 Female Network Countdown of the 25 Best Filipina Singers, and is listed as one of the 10 most admired female singers in Asia, by Malaysian magazine Top 10 of Asia, with other female entertainers, including Leia Salonga, Sidina Haliza, and Tata Young. 
Velasquez credits the vocal training she received from her father as a child, that was in Leto, a long time ago, I must have been 7 years old, it didn't feel like training, my father didn't force me to do it, he just took us to the beach for a picnic, he lived near the ocean, while I was swimming, he would ask me to sing, I think he got the idea from Rocky Marciano, the boxer, he read that Rocky practiced, shadow boxed in the water, in the rain, there's no pressure so it's easier, but in the water, you have no choice but to punch harder. My papa nearly applied the same principle to singing. Velasquez is a soprano and is often praised for her range and technical ability. Elvin Luciano of CNN Philippines complimented her trademark and sometimes melismatic vocals, while all music's David Gonzalez says her singing is strong, energetic, and confident. However, she has often been criticized for excessive usage of belting and over singing. Gonzalez described her tango as thin, unimpressive and unnatural at times and observed her singing as aiming for a high note, which she did all too often, Velasquez explained. I don't mean to make any songs hard. It's just that when I'm on stage, with the adrenaline rush of oil, you get excited. I do try to hold back, because, otherwise I'll be screaming the whole show. That's not good. Velasquez's vocal style and singing ability have significantly impacted Philippine popular and contemporary music. Referred to as Asia's songbird by critics, she is often cited as one of Filipino music's most influential artists. As entertainment writer Alan Policarpio of the Philippine Daily Inquirer wrote, Regine needed only to open her mouth and that celebrated voice would come out. She could sing seated, lying down or hoisted up in the air with a harness, no problem. And even when she was so sick she couldn't speak, she could still sing. Velasquez has also been recognized for playing a pivotal role in creating the blueprint of becoming a singing icon. Many critics complimented her work, often singling out Velasquez's influence. Elvin Luciano, writing for CNN Philippines, described her legitimacy as enough to secure a space in pop culture, and remarked that her musical career continues to influence generations of OPM patrons and songbird remakes up to this day, while the Philippine star added, if one were to go by the chords and distinctions made, Regine Velasquez would win. Hands down, she has often been regarded as a powerhouse for her performances and musical content. Despite her vocal prowess, Velasquez's use of vocal belting has been subject to scrutiny because young singers such as those on talent shows have been imitating her singing technique. Critics have commented, the popularity of beard, belting, started here with the amateur singing contests. Then came Regine Velasquez, who also launched her own singing career the beard way. Trouble is, Regine's belting became so popular that her successors, imitated her, the Manila Bulletin also added that most of our top-selling new female singers are still in mere parrots of her in terms of vocal acrobatics and predilection to show off her. High range, as writer and public as Paul Bunder noted, most of the young female singers currently making waves in the industry are cut from the same Baridera, Belta, cloth as Regine Velasquez among the pop, hip, pop and R&B artists in the Philippines who have cited Velasquez as an influence are Aso Santos, Chalice, Eric Santos, Jonah Vire, Julianne San Jose, KZ Tandingan, Carla, Marich Luis Garcia, Mark Bautista, Maria Sedamon, Tony Gonzaga, and Ian Constantino. Velasquez's music has broadly influenced a younger generation of performers. Sarah Geronimo has stated how the singer made her realize the value of hard work. While Richo Ango and Angeline Pinto have both mentioned her as an inspiration in their early years as aspiring singers, American Idol finalists Ramiel Malubo, 
Thea Media, and Jessica Sanchez have all expressed desire to emulate her. Velasquez has also been credited for her work and performances with international artists, including 98 Degrees, Alicia Keys, Coco Lee, Peebo Bryson, and Stephen Bishop among others. Thank you. 
Till I fly.